Hey there, it's me, SLP Carrie. Do you secretly hate it when people interrupt you? There's a speaking technique that's easy to learn and it will signal you've got more to say. Before we practice, we're going to watch Speaker Sade. She demonstrates this amazingly. They all start with, that's interesting. The first phrase is, that's interesting. Sade began by contrasting saying the phrase that's interesting first as a response or comment and then as an incomplete utterance indicating she's got more to say. So what she did was she brought her pitch up for that stressed syllable. Interesting. That's interesting. Instead of bringing it down, notice the difference. That's interesting versus keeping it up high. That's interesting. It lets people know you've got more to say. Let's go back and forth and practice both of those. So first we're going to come up and then we're going to drop down to indicate finality. And then we'll practice keeping it that our pitch up high. That's interesting. That's interesting. The first phrase is that's interesting. Tell me more. Sade ends this first sentence with a statement, meaning her pitch rises up and then it falls to indicate she is finished speaking. So we're going to, we're going to practice that going more. Tell me more. Putting it all together. That's interesting. Tell me more. Number two. That's interesting. What made you say that? This time Sade asked a WH question, but she still followed that same pitch pattern. She came up for the stressed word, in this case it was say, and then she used that falling integration to indicate she's finished. So it sounds like, say that. What made you say that? That's interesting. What made you say that? Number three. That's interesting. What made you do that? The only change here was she changed the keywords. So coming up in pitch for do and dropping for that. What made you do that? That's interesting. What made you do that? And number four, that's interesting. What made you ask that? When this time we're going to come up for ask that. What made you ask that? That's interesting. What made you ask that? Finish off by contrasting that's interesting where you drop your pitch down versus stay up high, indicating you've got more to say. That's interesting. That's interesting.